This is the month of Sayyidina Ali bin Abi Talib Karram Allah Wajwal Kareem. You have heard the Mankabat. <coughs> Mankabat Aapne Suni. So meaning the praise. Now this is a personality who is unique in the entire Muslim Ummah. Why is he unique? He has many unique features which no other one has. For example, for example Rasulullah said, Ali is the door of my knowledge. And he didn't say this about anything. Ali is that his door, what does it mean? That whoever will want to come to Rasulullah's knowledge, his risala, his nabuwa, his ilm and knowledge and wisdom, he will have to come through the door. If he will come through other places, then he will not be considered lawful entrant actually there. So another one that he has a unique feature and that is, is there anyone who the Prophet Islam did tarbiya from childhood up to his youthful age fully directly under his tutelage and under, under his supervision there is no one other than Sayyidina Ali even because Rasulullah had his own sons but they passed away whilst they were very very young four or five years old they didn't have the chance to actually uh, grow up in the maturity and youthfully there was Sayyidina Imam Hassan and Hussain radiallahu anhuma, but they also were about seven, eight years old when the Prophet Islam passed away from this physical world. It was only Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib Karram, who as a child, as a baby child, when he was baby, he was also living with the Prophet Islam. Because Rasulullah was living in the house of Hazrat Abu Talib. And when he was living separately, he brought Hazrat Ali with him. He didn't leave, he wasn't brought up by his father Abu Talib. You should know that. That when the Prophet Islam was married and separated, he came to the house of Sayyida Khadijat al-Kubra, radiallahu anha. He brought Sayyidina Ali with him as a child, not for eight. At that time he was nine years old or I think, or actually, when <clears throat> or uh, when they were living together um, in when Rasulullah announced the prophethood he was at that time he was 10 years old yes, 10 11 years. and so at that time he was living there as well so this was the person who yes was born in his own house in the Kaaba Sharif they say in the vicinity of Kaaba passed away in the masjid and lived his whole life actually with the Prophet ﷺ. Uh, from childhood, so Rasulullah was doing his tarbiyah, his tarbiyah, his training up to actually when they did migration, he was also he migrated and thereafter in every war almost, Badr, Ohod, Khandak, he played a unique role and the Prophet ﷺ mentioned about him he said, O oh, Ali, that the example of mine and yours is like Hazrat Musa salam, and Hazrat Harun. The only difference is that there will be no prophet after me. Meaning, Rasulullah was signaling that how high his status is, that he has the credential actually of so high level that maybe if there was no end to prophethood, then these people like Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Ali, these will be the, 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 the prophets of their times.